Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. We're gonna try a modified bloom pour tonight on a wooden cradle board. So I already have my base coat down and I've just kind of plopped a puddle in the middle. So I guess because this is a 10 by 10 instead of a little four by four, we're gonna use a lot more paint. So I have no idea how or even if this is gonna work, you guys, but we're gonna give it a go. So we're gonna start with this is a Pabio, I call it pink, but they call it red blue. And so because it's their paint, that's what we're going to call it. Pabio red blue. This is um, Artist Loft Metallic Orange. Pretty, pretty. This is uh, Folk Art Color Shift. Um, it's a violet. I can't remember what color violet, but it's a violet. A little bit of lime green around the outsides. As you all know that I'm a lime green girl. We're gonna add white satin enamel, just a little bit. Well, this looks like a lot on this. And a little bit of turquoise. Okay, look at how tidy that was, you guys. <laughs> That's a joke. All right, we're gonna Plop down some black cell activator. And I don't know how I'm gonna blow this out, but I don't have a hair dryer. And I don't know if I have enough air. So here we go. All right, phew. Good thing I'm not asthmatic. Okay guys, let's just wait for a few minutes. The center has sunk down quite far. Little fleck of hair or something. We might have to blow this out a little bit farther, but you know what, we'll, uh, we'll give it a second and we'll wait and see. This is all experimental, you guys. We're gonna do it together. Lots of people have asked if I can do it on a bigger piece and I have done it on, I think it was like eight by 16 rectangle, but I did multiple blooms and I didn't modify them. They were just blooms. And it's actually was my favorite, my favorite piece I've ever done because of the colors. So let's just maybe walk on the wild side and blow this out a little bit more. Okay, smell like a round-legged starfish. Okay guys, here we go. Let's take our modifying tool, aka the kebab stick, and let's just take this apart a little bit and see what happens. We're gonna go to the right, we're gonna go to the left. Gonna modify our bloom, you guys. You can make it as detailed as you like. It's your bloom. Gonna add some details now. We'll add a bunch of details later. The ones we add now really are the ones that kind of give your piece, you know, the the shape, the, the oh my goodness, the composition of your piece, because these, these lines are gonna stretch way out once we start tilting. So I think we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna tilt it out a little bit. Maybe add a little more pillow paint this edge at least. I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't like it. And here we go. Right now you guys, all we're gonna do is just tip things out a little bit and try to move our paint around and stretch it out. I'm not gonna worry about what's where for now. We're just gonna get the paint all the way to the edges. Okay, let's go maybe down this corner first. And then back to center. Ok, 
Okay, let's do a few more modifications before we tilt it the other way. Let's break this up a little bit. I'm gonna leave that. We'll go in here. Okay, let's go back corner to corner. Let's go up the other side, you guys. there. We're going to come back. Some pretty things happening. Okay, we are going to leave that like that and then we're just going to come back in and make some fine little details you guys and we're going to call that a day as far as that piece goes. So that's it. The rest of these little marks that you're making you guys, this is just added little details. And again, you can make it as complex as you like. You can keep it as simple as you like. Just, you know what, don't be afraid to mess with it. It's only paint. Worst case scenario, you hate it, you scrape it, you you start again. You don't, you know what, if you don't try things and change things, you don't learn, don't grow. That's my motto, you guys. It's only paint. You got this. So this is pretty cool. This is a 10 by 10. Nice paint down the edges. Sometimes the edges are the coolest part of everything, aren't they? A few little bubbles that we're going to take care of right now. And I don't like this little right. Well, we're going to use our toothpick as our magic eraser, just like that. That's it. Maybe we'll just put a few little details up here, just for fun. That's it, you guys. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna bring you down for a close up. There we go. There you go. 10 by 10 wooden cradle panel, uh, modified bloom pour. That was it, guys, you got it. It's only paint. We're gonna come in really close and then we're gonna shut this down. Look at those funky, funky little cells. Okay, guys, thanks for playing with me tonight. We'll talk really soon. Thank you, everybody, for all your continued support and interest and questions. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.